Welcome to the channel, I'm Amedeo602, and today we're going to go through all the gear that I have collected in Hogwarts Legacy. As you can see here, I have reached the maximum level 40, I've completed all the challenges in the game, and I've collected almost all the equipment. I have completed all the collections over here, as you can see. So this is going to cover all of the appearances and all of the gear. Uh, the first thing to know about all this gear is you can change the appearance of anything that you have equipped. If you just hover over it, you can see on the screen there it says change appearance. In my case, that's the square button. And over here you can see the different gear is sorted into two different categories. On the top we have all of the gear that we found from the collections, so all of this will be what's appeared in the collections tab. And then other is just other gear that you have found throughout the world that is not part of the collections. I'm not exactly sure why they sorted it out this way. This does make it hard to tell if I've actually collected everything in the game. But as you can see, we've got a nice assortment here. And I'm just going to cycle through and go through. We're going to go through all the uh, gloves first. And then we're going to hit the face wear, head wear, neck wear, cloaks and robes, outfit. And then we're going to wrap it up with all of the wand handles the mounts that I've collected and all of the brooms in the game. So there's not going to be a whole lot of commentary throughout this. Uh, it's really more of just a fashion show. And first thing you'll notice for every piece of equipment, you can just have that equipment not displayed. Now, obviously for the actual outfits, they're not going to display uh, naked characters. So they're just going to look like they're wearing kind of pajamas. So for the gloves, you can see here we are, we're just going to go through and we're going to, um, look at all these. Uh, feel free to use the chapters down in the bottom of, of the uh, video to skip through different sections to see, you know, what it is that you like, because some of these sections are going to take a while to get through. Going fairly quickly here, uh, feel free to speed up, slow down the video to match your preferences. Kind of like those checked gloves. course as you're doing this you can also rotate your character so you can you can see what the uh, the gloves look like from different angles and the same is true for all the other equipment as well And if you change your mind and just go, want to go back to what you had equipped the last time, you can do that. So pick whichever gloves you like. I'm just going to leave mine as plain for now. We're going to move on to the face wear. Some of these masks are kind of funny. The uh, the demi guy's mask, especially. Little Michael Myers, Michael, blah, 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 talking. A <laughs> little Michael Myers action there. Um, some of these glasses, I, I was not able to really tell a difference. Um, in some of them. So some of the glasses are a little bit subtle. And some of them <laughs> not subtle at all. For example, like the uh, the orange Eye of Newt goggles and the brown Eye of Newt goggles, you can see here, they look exactly the same. So I don't know if that's a bug in the game or if it's just some subtle difference that I wasn't able to uh, to notice. Next up, we're going to look through all the headwear that I've collected. Obviously, you can just take your hat off. Oh, what's a good angle? Here we go. Maybe like a, there we go, like a sideways. Whoa, we've got a jack-o'-lantern here. Okay, okay. I 
Uh, let's go back to this one and look at... Okay, yeah, you can see there's a feather in that cap. And I'm not covering how to get all these uh, various things. You can look up guides for individual ones if there's one specifically that you like. Uh, most of them... Uh, at least in the collections, they should be pretty easy to find if you uh, if you look for a guide. The other ones down in this other section, uh, that's going to be more uh, just based on luck and finding them in the chests around the world. Pattern Turban is definitely giving off uh, vibes from that first Harry Potter movie, the uh, the Sorcerer's Stone or the Philosopher's Stone, uh, depending on where you were. Uh, this whimsical hat was actually the the hat that I wore most of the game. Uh, I'm Slytherin house, so I was looking for something green, and uh, this one actually looks looks pretty fun. To apologize, some of the some of the headwear it's it's hard to see on the screen here exactly what it looks like. There we go, little red feather in the hat. Uh, let's get rid of that just so it doesn't uh, obscure anything uh, in the next sections. So neckwear, this is basically scarves, so you can take that off. And actually, while I'm taking things off, let's go ahead and uh, make the cloaks and the outfit have no appearance, um, just so we can see exactly what the neckwear looks like. Some of the cloaks, especially the one that I happen to have equipped, uh, really, really obscures the appearance here. And definitely on the neckwear, um, some of the neckwear you can see uh, has more appearance in the front versus the back, so I am going to be uh, rotating the character a little bit more in this section. really like the Royal Chinese Fireball Scarf. I, I found that one early, maybe uh, in the restricted section of the library, and, and that was one I left equipped for a while. I really like that one. Cloaks and robes. Uh, this was my personal favorite category just because uh, this really changes the appearance of your character. And you can see here some of these are just capes, so like the starry-eyed seer's cape is mostly just on the back of your character, so if you really want to showcase your outfit, you would put on something like that or just take off the appearance altogether. It's also good to know with the with the different capes, 
you can also go in here and you can toggle the hood on and off if you press, uh, for me it's triangle. You can see down there uh, next to change appearance, it'll show you how to do that. And I'm not gonna do that for every single one, but you can see for, uh, for some of the things that are just plain old cloaks, uh, you can't actually do that. But for anything that displays a hood on it, like uh, for instance, this uh, venomous tentacular robe, uh, you can toggle the hood on and off. The Relic House uniform is going to be different for the different houses. Um, and this uniform is special because uh, when you cast a spell, it'll actually light up. So I'm going to uh, drop into the game and just show that off real quick. And when you finish the Dedalian keys, you actually get this robe. So you notice, even with a basic cast, uh, it lights up. So for every spell you cast, the robe kind of has this nice little glow to it. Revelio. And again, that is the uh, Relic House uniform that you can earn by completing the Dedalian Keys side quest. One of the more difficult and time-consuming side quests in the game, by the way. The Dark Arts, anything that says Dark Arts was a PlayStation pre-order exclusive. I'm not sure if that uh, Dark Arts pack is still available. I, th I think it is, um, but it was it was a PlayStation exclusive. So you won't see that if you are on the uh, the other platforms, unfortunately. And again, you notice there are a lot of these uh, these house robes. So if you are a Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, or Ravenclaw, uh, yours are going to look different than than what I've got here. And down here in this uh, other section, uh, these are just kind of some generic school robes. And actually some of these were my favorites, uh, but I really like the Quidditch cape too. Trimmed, cuffed, yeah, slight, slight differences there. By the way, you can also purchase the various gear at Gladrags in Hogsmeade. So if there's something specific that you want to unlock the appearance for, you can just purchase it there, and that should give it to you in the menu here. Obviously, you can see some of these uh, cloaks and robes will absolutely cover up most of your outfit, and some of them won't cover up hardly anything. So the the white pajamas that it looks like uh, my character's wearing right now, that's what you would see in your outfit. Oh, that one was the elegant runic cape, sorry. There we go. I am switching back and forth a little bit here just as I rotate, so... I apologize if some of this is hard to follow. Next, we have the outfits. 
As you can see, the outfits are going to cover the front and back of your character, so if you choose to have your robes not displayed, you might prefer to have an outfit instead. Again, Dark Arts Ensemble, this is uh, part of that PlayStation exclusive DLC. And again, with any of these uh, school uniforms or any of the house gear, the colors are going to differ based on your house. But you can at least get a general idea of what to expect. Prefect vest, okay. So there, there are some differences there. I didn't notice that when I first did that just now. Getting close to the bottom of the list here. It's a good time to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications and hit like on the video if you're enjoying this uh, Hogwarts Legacy fashion showcase we're doing. It's also a good time for me to mention that I've got a quick trophy guide up on the channel right now. And if you do subscribe and turn on those notifications, uh, then you should get a notification as soon as I release the full trophy guide, which is going to go into detail on how to complete all the collections so you can get all these outfits. That wraps up all the different outfits, cloaks and robes, neckwear, handwear, facewear, and headwear. Now we're going to move on to the wand handles. And again, these are all just aesthetics. The wand handles are a little bit different than the armor that we just went through. For the wand handles, all of these are in the collections. So for any of these specific wand handles that you want to earn, you should be able to find a guide online for the location of each one. Most of these are going to be found in bandit camps around the open world. And most of those bandit camps are pretty easy. You can just run in, uh, maybe even use the dis disillusionment charm to... Uh, Sneak in, uh, grab the wand handle, and then it's yours forever. 
So the wand handles are pretty easy to get for the most part. Some of them are going to be behind uh, locked doors that you'll need to use the Alohomora spell to open. covers the wand handles. Now we're going to go through the flying mounts. There are only a few of them here, so uh, this will be a very short section. You can see we've got High Wing and Caligo. I believe Caligo is PlayStation exclusive, or maybe that's the Thestral. Now that I now that I think about it, it might be the Thestral. But there are only three flying mounts in the game. Personally, I found the broomstick a lot more uh, satisfying and more effective for flying. Now we're going to go through every broomstick in the game. Most of these you unlock through quests. A few of them are purchased at vendors. First up we have the Aeromancer, Bright Spark, Ember Dash. I like the antique broom. It's, it's just kind of funny compared to some of these other ones. It's not very fancy at all. Sort of a minimalist broom. As far as I'm aware, all of the brooms have the exact same stats. It's just cosmetics we're looking at here. And once you purchase the upgrades at Spint Witches, then those upgrades apply to all the brooms that you have. So you're really just unlocking the skins when you purchase them or unlock the challenges. And again, I'm in Slytherin House, so I really like this, this is Sky Scythe. I think this one was $5,000 at or 5,000 gold at one of the vendors. But anyway, that wraps up this video. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch it. If you enjoyed, don't forget to hit a like and subscribe to the channel for more. And as always, thank you very much for watching.